Right now, we're taking a live look at Capitol Hill, where several physicians from our area are again calling for a federal ban on assault rifles. And some of those doctors treated young children hurt in the Highland Park parade shooting there from right here in our area. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe live from downtown Highland Park to explain more about what they plan to do today. Good morning, Mugo. Yeah, good morning, guys. So these are doctors who say they have seen firsthand the type of damage that assault rifles can do to people, and that is why they are joining the fight to ban them. In fact, Sheena McKenzie, she is a doctor, and she says she treated patients, young children who were shot during the 4th of July parade shooting here in Highland Park. What she saw in that ER is why she's joining doctors from around the country calling on lawmakers to federally ban assault rifles. In addition to doctors, members of March 4th, a group formed after the Highland Park parade shooting, will also be in D.C. They plan to meet with more than 30 senators today, pushing them to take action on a bill that the House passed back in July. Dr. McKenzie tells us she will continue to use her platform to push for change. You know, my life is now kind of defined as before that day and after that day, and I felt very helpless. It, it almost felt natural to turn towards advocacy. To be clear, today is day two of this initiative. We know doctors, including Dr. McKenzie, were also in D.C. yesterday pushing for that change, pushing to end the assault rifles in the country. We're live in Highland Park. Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News. This week, a Chicago judge will